Hey, in this video I'm going to show you guys the overall travel room that you'll have on your Joel CNC base. I will dimension all of my axes and I'll show you guys basically how much room you have. With this you'll be able to figure out the overall cutting area you'll have on your table. Basically divide, multiply my machine size with yours and you'll be able to figure out how much area you'll have. This is more for people who are just beginning their build just so that they know how big to go to get a desired cutting area. I'll show you guys the length of my y-axis, I'll measure it out, and then I'll measure out the distance the actual router bit has to travel on. So here's the length of my y-axis, this is the 80-20 length, but the angle iron is the exact same length. As you can see here, the router does pass the table surface by quite a bit. So this leaves me at pretty much 60 inches travel in the y direction, plus or minus a couple of inches just because I stopped a few inches short of the end of the beam. And basically I have right now about three inches, three to four inches overhang off of my table. Now to have the router do this is very convenient just for bit changes etc. This leaves you a lot of room to change the router bit as well as accessing the cam adjuster if you have one. Okay so now we'll do the X beam. My beam length is 10 feet. I do have them have a slight overhang on both sides. So the span between my Y beam angle iron outside to outside is 109 and a half inches. Six and three quarter inches. That's from outside of the Y axis to the center of the bit. That's six and three quarter inches. So now basically you can do the math. If you double six and a three quarters for each side, subtract that from 109 and a half, you'll end up with 96 inches precisely. So if you want a four by eight bed or cutting area, you could potentially cut your Y axis down to about 66 inches or so. That would give you about 50 inches worth of cutting. So if you get the 10 foot 80, 20 extrusion, you can comfortably go to 112 inches. That is the distance from the outside of your Y-axis angle iron. 112 inches will fit 120 inches worth of aluminum extrusion, the 80-20, which will give you about 98 to 99 inches of comfortable cutting space. Hopefully this will help some of you guys figure out what size base you need to make to get the desired cutting area. 